Shalom everyone and welcome back. This is Israeli EDC where we cover mostly flashlights and Swiss Army knives and today we're going to talk about the Victorinox Explorer, a four-layer Victorinox which is in my opinion one of the best creations of Victorinox for the average Joe, you know, for the regular Joe, just the kind of guy that walks around the city and just needs a capable tool in his pocket and is willing to put up with the weight uh, because it does weigh a little. It's like heavier than most Swiss Army knives in the three to four layer uh, category. But before we dive into that, I just want to talk to you guys about Instagram. You asked me to find a way to stay in touch in between videos and I did. Y'all are already on Instagram, so I just started an account over there. So go ahead and give it a follow. The name of the account is obviously Israeli underscore EDC and you'll find the link in the description box below. So if you want to stay in touch with me, that's where you're going to find me and you can, you know, DM me and I'll try to respond to each and every message and each and every comment you guys will put down under my posts over there. And that out of the way, let's dive into the Victorinox Explorer because I do have a lot to say. I just used it last night to, uh, to disassemble and then reassemble. Um, a coat rack which I'll get to in a minute. So without further ado I just want to dive into the Victorinox Explorer in my opinion is one of the best offerings from Victorinox when it comes to a four layer Swiss army knife. It's kind of beefy, it's chunky, it kind of weighs a little so it weighs a bit more than a than a conventional three layer four layer Victorinox because it packs a punch. It is a really really capable four layer Victorinox and today I'm going to walk you through what makes it great and why I think it's a pretty good choice for most people unless you have a specific need like if you don't need a wood saw if you don't need a metal file uh, you're gonna find the Victorinox Explorer quite capable so let's go to the top down view here and talk about the Victorinox Explorer Okay, so first let's go over the tools. Obviously on the front we have the traditional opening layer which is the can opener here and the bottle opener here. Both of them have screwdrivers on top. This is the smaller flathead screwdriver. This is the larger flathead screwdriver. This is a can opener. I've never in my life used a Victorinox to open a can. Furthermore, I've never used a can opener because I haven't seen a can that doesn't have a pull tab in over 20 years or something. So I might have opened a can with a can opener, I don't know, 20 years ago or so, but not for the past two decades. The ball cap lifter is one of the best you're going to find on a multi-tool unless you're going to like a Gerber dime that has that um, very capable cap lifter, which is a dedicated cap lifter. So unless you're going like two layers um, like the Gerber Dime, you're not going to find a more capable uh, bottle cap lifter than the Victorinox one. There's also a wire stripping notch right there, which I've never used. If you have, please let me know down in the comment section below. I've never known anyone that uses the wire stripping notch right there. Usually there's a specific tool for that. Um, the can opener doesn't have a 90 degree stop. It's just one spring goes all the way open and all the way close. The ball cap lifter, however, does have a 90 degree stop, so you can uh, fully deploy all the way and you can half stop to get some momentum and torque if you're really trying to crank down on something. So that's the first layer. The second layer is what, is what makes the Explorer special. And you can kind of see right there it comes with a magnifier glass, which I've never used, but I have seen videos on YouTube of people who start a fire with a magnifier glass. So I haven't used it. Let's take my Punisher Zippo right here and see if we can magnify the nose, magnify the eyes. So yeah, it does work, but I've never used it, never saw the need to use it. If you do, if you use a magnifier glass in your line of work, please let me know, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, the flip side of the magnifier glass is what makes the Explorer special and it is the inline Phillips screwdriver. This 
This, in my opinion, is what makes this tool worth carrying, despite the weight and the added layer, which makes it beefier. This is a four-layer knife. If we compare it to, say, a climber, which I reviewed just a few weeks ago, you can see the difference right there. You can see the difference in width and, you know, this side, they're the same, but this side, the climber is a three layer knife, the Explorer is a four layer knife, and you can see the differences if we close the tool, which is, it got a spring on it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna fold easily. It doesn't lock, but it's not gonna fold on you very easily. You're gonna have to apply force to, to really close the screwdriver. So if we take a look here, if we try to align them side by side right there, you can see the added layer. In my opinion, totally worth it. I will carry the Victorinox Explorer. I have been carrying the Explorer uh, on and off, but last night I was lucky enough to have it on me when we were at my parents' house for dinner. Uh, we, we ended the dinner, the dinner was wonderful, and we went out to the yard and we were just all sitting there. And I noticed a coat rack uh, standing in the corner and I asked my folks if I can have it, if they're not using it. And my dad said, yeah, but it's not gonna fit in your car. You're gonna have to take it apart. Now, my dad had a toolbox, not even 20 feet away. By the time he went over to the toolbox and back to us, I was already done with the first screw. I already undone the first screw on the coat rack using this Phillips screwdriver. Now, here in Israel, you encounter a lot of, a lot of uh, Phillips screws. I don't know about uh, different areas in different, uh, you know, different countries uh, and continents of the world, but here in Israel, you are, you are more likely to encounter a Phillips screw than a, let's say, a hex on something like a coat rack. So I used this, the Explorer, to break down the coat rack, put it in my car, and then when we got home, I used the Explorer to put it back together, even though I have like my toolbox underneath <laughs> this very table. But still, this was on the table because I just took it out of my pocket. And I used this to reassemble the coat rack. So yeah, it is a very capable Phillips screwdriver if you are the kind of person that uses a, a Phillips every now and then, even maybe once or twice a week, you should consider carrying the Victorinox because it essentially turns it into a full-size Phillips screwdriver, which is in line, what makes it very, very convenient to operate, you know? Um, let's take, for example, the Deluxe Tinker, which comes with a Phillips screwdriver, but it's a T-shaped Phillips, you know, it comes out of the back. So it automatically, you know, you're gripping it like this, which is not always comfortable. It does work if you need to apply some torque, but it's not the most convenient way to undo a Phillips screw, especially when you're dealing with, you know, small objects like, you know, taking apart a coat rack or even better, putting together a stand for, for sunglasses, which I did using this. Uh, I'll put a video on the screen right now so you can see what I'm talking about. I used the inline Phillips of the Explorer to put together a stand like a, uh, a show, like a display stand for sunglasses for my wife. And I used this. So it is very, very convenient and comfortable to use a Phillips when it's in line with the tool itself, unlike the Deluxe Tinker. Now the Deluxe Tinker does have its advantages and if you do need like a small set of pliers and not quite the uh, full size Leatherman waves of the world, this might do the job for you. It does for me when I go out shooting videos, whenever I go out working on a small project, I'll usually throw this in my pocket, but this is not what the video is about. We'll stick to the Explorer. So we did the first layer, which is the openers. We did the second layer, which is the magnifier glass and the um, three-dimensional Phillips. The third layer is the scissors, which are right here. Now, if you've never used a Victorinox scissors before, let me just tell you you're wrong. Go out there and try a pair of scissors 
on a Swiss Army knife, you'll never go back. These are by far the best scissors on any multi-tool that I've come across. And if you know otherwise, please let me know down in the comment section below. But, you know, I doubt it because these are magnificent. They're, they're, they're sturdy. They're big. They open up wide. You can, you can pretty much chop down uh, anything that fits within the opening of the teeth of the scissors. So, you know, just get yourself a Victorinox that comes with a pair of scissors. Let's move on to the last layer, which are the blades. On the Victorinox Explorer, you get two blades. You get the big blade and the small blade. Now, typically, whenever I carry a Swiss Army knife that comes with two blades, I usually try to keep them separate as, as to what I'm doing with them, like the, what, I, what I'm using them for. So the big blade always goes to food prep. Whenever I carry a Victorinox with two blades, the big one always goes to food prep. I'm always using the big blade to cut an apple or to, you know, just open up uh, a sandwich and, and spread things and cut, you know, uh, sausage or whatever. I'm going to use the big blade. The small blade is for everything else. Everything that needs cutting that I cannot cut with the scissors is going to go to the small blade. If I need to open up a package, if I need to cut a thread of a, of a shirt, if I need to take the label off shoes or whatever that I just bought, I'm going to use the small blade. So everything that is dirty and gunky will stick to this and not to my main blade, which, as I said, I'm using for food. Now, the scale tools are the similar scale tools you'll find on any Victorinox, which is to say they're great. The tweezers are awesome. I use them on a daily basis. I have a wild beard. I have a wild beard. So I use the tweezers to, you know, uh, tidy up my beard whenever I'm out and about and I need to just tidy up like a single hair or something. So I'll use the fantastic Victorinox tweezers. On the flip side of the tweezers, come on, get in there. So on the flip side of the tweezers, you'll find the toothpick, which I also use on a daily basis. Ooh, gross, I know, most of you don't like it. Deal with it, it's there, I'm using it. It's a toothpick and it's a very capable toothpick. And I do, you know, try to keep it clean. As you can see, it's very clean and it's clean in there. I try at least. Uh, so I'm not just taking it out of my mouth and just sticking it in there. I wash it and, and then I put it back. Uh, but yeah, I do use the toothpick on a daily basis. Let's move on to the back. The back you have a wine opener, like a corkscrew, which holds the fabulous and very easy to lose tiny screwdriver. So this flathead is very useful whenever you just need something very, 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 very small, like if you need to open the battery door on a kid's toy or something, or to fix sunglasses or just regular glasses, which neither of us wear, not me or my wife, uh, except for where she's at work, but she has her own tools. Um, so this is very capable and it stays right here inside the corkscrew. I rarely use the corkscrew, but when I do, it's usually because there is no other corkscrew around and this makes me a hero. So, you know, just carry a Swiss Army knife that has both the corkscrew on the back and the Phillips in line. So now you're a hero. You also get the hole for the pin, for the straight pin. It doesn't come with one. It also doesn't come with the um, mini screwdriver. I added that and I'm going to add the small straight pin that goes here inside this hole. So it doesn't come with neither of those. But, you know, just get one. Uh, you can get them in packs like from Victorinox. Moving on to the next tool on the back, this is the parcel hook. I should say the controversial parcel hook because nobody knows what it's for these days and why Victorinox keeps putting that on the back of tools. And if they're already going to put the parcel hook, why not give us the one with the nail file on the back like you get on the compact? Uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with the compact. This is not it. That's the sportsman. This is the compact. You're all familiar with it. And on the back of the parcel hook, I'm just going to show you, this is the parcel hook on the compact. On the back, you get this little tiny fabulous nail file, which is phenomenal. It works. 
why not put this version of the parcel hook on all the Tornox knives that comes with the hook? You know, just do it, Victorinox, just do it. Go ahead, do it, do it now, do it now. Give us the parcel hook we deserve. Anyways, this out of the way. Um, I'm using the parcel hook, actually. I do use it. I use it to like carry grocery bags if they're too heavy and we're, we're done grocery shopping and we're on our way to the car or from the car back to the house. I'll use this. I'll pop this out of my pocket and try to fit like the both loops of a very heavy grocery bag over the loop and just carry it like so, you know, carry it. I'll try to put a picture up on the screen of me actually using it. Uh, anyway, it's a very useful tool in my opinion. You know, you can use it if you like uh, have a drawer that the knob fell off or something, you can stick it in there and, you know, pull the drawer out. Anyways, moving to the last tool on the Explorer, this is the awl, punch, reamer, whatever you want to call that. Victorinox says you can sew things with this, you know, you have that sewing eye right there. Uh, the hole, you can punch through leather, leather and, and then, you know, saw your way uh, or just, you know, fix uh, uh, jeans or whatever. I don't, I, I never use it to sew anything. I mainly use the scraper side. This is a very sharp 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 scraper edge right there you can see how sharp it is extremely sharp so you know you can use it to do basically any cutting task that doesn't require the sliciness of the actual blade you know if you just need if you just need to to like score something or to open a package that has like one of those thick um uh, what, what do you call it? The thick layer of like tape, you know, you can just use this, just, you know, run it down there uh, and it will do the job. But I also use it to put holes in things, like to punch holes. I use it to um, put two new holes on a pair of sandals my wife bought uh, that the, the, the strap was too loose. So I just use this to put a couple of holes on each side just to help her tighten up the strap. So, you know, it's very, very, very useful, extremely useful to have that punch on the back. And I obviously use the suspension clip to suspend it in my pocket. It, this goes, all my Victronox knives go in my right pocket, right next to my phone, which is filming this right now. So it just uh, stays there like this. So this is what I use to carry my Victronox knives. So what do you think about the Explorer? What are your... What are your thoughts on this? Will you carry a four layer knife? And if we already have the compact out, this is a two layer knife. Let's bring back the climber. This is a three layer knife. So you can see the differences. This is the sportsman, also a two layer knife, but smaller. So this is the 84 millimeter frame. These are all 91 millimeter frames. Would you carry a four layer Swiss Army knife? Let me know down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts? And while you're down there, check out the description box and click on the link to my Instagram account and go holla at me there, you know, go see me over there at Instagram and give me a shout out, you know, uh, check out the post, DM me if you have anything important to say and I'll see you all in the next video. And the next video, I'm just gonna move these aside, the next video is going to be a Wenger review. Do you guys remember the last Wenger I uh, reviewed? The Evolution 14? You guys recommended that I'll get the newer version of Wenger, uh, which has the conventional can opener and not the uh, claw style can opener because the tools are better made. So I did. I went out and I got myself an Evo Grip 16 which is the new production model you can see you can kind of see like a preview of the knife right there this is actually the knife that's inside so this is the next review that we're going to have up on this channel and once again thank you all for your time this is a very long review of a swiss arm knife i'm sorry about that but you know i did have a lot to say because the explorer is a very very special knife in my opinion very very capable uh, you know, if you prefer the convenience of actual use over the convenience of carrying a Swiss Army knife, because these two are obviously easier to carry, 
but this one is obviously easier to use if you're gonna use the Phillips screwdriver. Um, so yeah, this might be for you, you know? Anyways, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you all in the next video and you know, like the video, subscribe and everything and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.